Hello friends, hope you guys doing great. In today's video, we will be talking about what I think is the ultimate study technique, study hack, study tip, whatever you want to call it. And that my friends is called active recall, aka testing yourself, aka stuff that we should have been taught in school, aka why didn't anybody teach us this? Life would have been so easy. Nevertheless, today we will be discussing on what exactly this active record is and how we can integrate this into our studies. So to start off, let me just give you guys an outline to what we will be discussing in this video. Number one, we'll talk about what active record is and why exactly it works. Secondly, we'll talk about the ways in which we can integrate active record into our studies. And finally, we'll talk about some do's and don'ts with regards to active record. Okay, now let's try and understand what active recall is. Let us break down this word called active recall, right? Active and recall. Recall means that we are retrieving an information. Not just any information, information that we have learned, that we have learned earlier. So that is recalling. And active means that we are doing this purely based on memorization without any other help. We are recalling the information purely based on memory. So this raises a question, you know, what is passive? What is passive learning or passive recall? When we recall something that is purely not based on our memory, that would be passive recall. An example would be rereading the notes or listening to the lectures again. Rereading my notes was something I used to do all the time when I was in first year. It was easy, which is why I, I did it in the first place. It gave me an illusion that I was putting in the work that I was studying. But on hindsight, no, it was not actually quite efficient. If something is easy, it's probably not worth it. That is, that is my experience. Okay, now let's talk about why active record works. You know, what is the underlying basis of active record? Every information, every information in our brain is basically a bunch of neurons. Right? So when we want to retrieve any information, what we are essentially doing is just activating these particular sets or these groups of neurons. And the thing about active recall is that we are doing this in such a way that we are not depending upon any other visual cues or auditory cues to activate these particular neurons. So we have the stimulus which is that we are trying to remember something and then there is this neural pathway and then there's this group of neurons which get activated. With active recall, we are completely depending on this one pathway to be intact. I mean, not intact, but yeah, to be, yeah, to be intact, I guess, to be functional. So the more times we rely on this particular neural pathway, the more strengthened it becomes. You can use it or you can lose it. So what about the other side of the coin? You know, what about passive recall or passive learning? Examples which include rereading and listening to the lectures again. So again, we have the neural pathway, which is the stimulus. We are trying to remember something. We have the pathway. And finally, we have the information, the certain amount of neurons which get activated. With practices such as rereading, what we are essentially doing is that we are kind of bypassing this neural pathway. We are not depending on this neural pathway. Instead, we are via the help of these visual cues like rereading we are activating these neurons indirectly this is the easy way out our brain is kind of like a network you know there are multiple ways in which we can arrive to this one destination rereading is like taking a shortcut through which we can actually reach or we can actually remember the information it is a shortcut in simple terms there are no shortcuts to success Actually, rereading is not a problem as such because our brain is just trying to remember this one stuff. The problem is that during exams, we don't have any of these visual cues or auditory cues to help us remember this one stuff. In exam time, we have to rely on this one neural pathway, you know, the one we talked about initially. Without any other cues, we have to recall this information during exams. And that is why active recall becomes important. A simple example that comes to my mind is this, you know, let's say you want to learn how to play football. The best way to learn how to play football is to play football. You know, it is not watching football. It is not listening to football. It is none of those. It is just playing football. 
you know same goes with learning how to ride a bicycle the best way to learn how to ride a bicycle is to ride the bicycle so with regards to an examination or with regards to a test the best way to prepare for a test is to test yourself that is what is happening with active recall so now let us talk about the most important stuff and that is how to implement active recall into our studies since most of us are using notes you know taking handwritten notes let's talk about that first so the first thing you can do is to take questions you know write down questions correspondingly to the notes i am hoping that you guys leave a bit of space you know maybe 30 percentage of the page you know to write down extra stuff you know this is the space that uh, i was referring to in this space you would write down the questions correspondingly and when it is time to review this topic what you would do is you would cover the note part and you would only look at the questions this is one way you can practice active recall the next thing you can do is to write down questions again but this time like at the end of each chapter so after reading the notes you can come up with questions which are relevant to the note and just make a short concise list of questions that covers the whole of the topic in the back in the last page so when it is time to review the topic you would just go and review the questions only and you would try to come up with the answer i mean it is really simple stuff right it's no it's no rocket science you know it's just writing down a bit of questions maybe correspondingly to the notes or maybe at the end of the chapter that's it it is actually these extra small things these small little things that make all the difference the difference between the ordinary and the extraordinary it is just that little extra wow. if you want to take things to the next level you know what you can do is next to each question you can just give a kind of sign or a mark or anything that gives you an idea about how well you you could answer these questions the last time so example one tick would be hard two ticks would be okay or good and three ticks would be easy and the next time you review this topic you know that okay one tick is hard so i'll i'll make sure to get those questions right so that's one small tweak you can do again the small extra stuff which makes all the difference so the last way you can implement active recall into your studies is by using flashcards what is a flashcard flashcard is a card <laughs> with the for the front side and the back side in the front side you would write the questions and in the back side you would write the answers so when it is time to review a particular topic you would take these flashcards and you would just browse through them looking at each question and trying to come up with the answer same story my advice to everyone watching this video is that make sure that flashcards are a part of your routine you know we need to target those factual information so whatever is the method you study be it reading a textbook may be it making notes you know try to make flashcards to target those factual information so that our learning will be complete you know both encompassing both the factual information and the conceptual information now lastly coming to the do's and don'ts uh, with regards to active recall and firstly that is to take your time you know when when we are reviewing these questions or when we are reviewing these flashcards there are times when we get stuck right we don't immediately recall the answer but instead of simply looking at the answer right away stay with the question for a couple of seconds about 10 or 15 seconds just stay with it and once you take your time to truly dig deep into your memory to find the answer to that question i'm sure that 90% of the time you will get the answer it is really easy to just it is really tempting uh, should i say to look at the answer so my advice is to take your time with each question Uh, so that you can reinforce the information better and nestly it is making too many questions or making too many flashcards i myself am guilty of this i make too many flashcards like right off the bat the first time you approach a topic everything seems important you don't know what is the high yield and which is the low yield because in terms of examination in the realm of examination all information are not equal you know there is the high yield stuff there is the low yield stuff you should emphasize on making questions for the high yield stuff right making concise set of questions just to target the high yield stuff the low yield stuff it is just there to fill in the gaps you know i don't think we have to emphasize that much on the low yield stuff you will get to know what the high yield stuff and what the low yield stuff is when you come back to the topic a couple of times at first everything seems important but once you revise the chapter a couple of times then you will understand okay this is the important stuff this is the not so important stuff so when making questions 
make sure that you're targeting these high yield stuff first and then if you have time go for the low yield so prioritize that's what i'm trying to say with high yield and low yield stuff so all in all i think that active recall can be and will be the strongest weapon in your arsenal if if used properly because at the same time it can also be a burden if you make like like i said before if you make too many questions so it is a powerful tool and i think that we all should incorporate it into our studies you know it is the way the reason why i made this video when i got to know about what active recall truly is you know it really completely changed the way i see studying the way i approach studies so we have to work hard we have to work hard that is a must but at the same time we should work smart it should be the perfect mix of both hard work and smart work and i think that is where active recall comes you know making all our efforts making all our hard work for time instead of few time okay so with that being said i hope you guys got some value from this video some insight some takeaway points from this video so if you appreciate these kinds of videos please do consider subscribing i would be much grateful and and while at that if you like this video please do give this video a like i would be much grateful again <laughs> okay so that is it for today i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one peace